Okay, so again, I can't see the mark on the crankshaft gear sprocket to line it up with the camshaft, but right now I know I'm at top dead center. There's a number of reasons how you could tell us. Well, first, well, if I took this bolt off, uh, at the factory, right where you see this black mark, on the front of the crank snout, the factory had put um, a pink line, just like that, right here. But once you put the bolt and some washers on in spaces, you can't see it, so I took a black Sharpie and just made the mark there so I remember where it was. And I was hoping that that was top dead center. I was like, oh good, maybe the factory knows that, you know, you can't see the uh, mark on the uh, crankshaft gear. So maybe they were kind enough to do that, but no, that's not what it is. I think what that pink mark was on the front of the crank snout was they were marking to let you know where the, see that? Where the keyway is to align the uh, oil pump gear. See that groove? Right in there you have that keyway, and then that oil pump gear slides over the keyway, so that's where it's centered. Now, okay, here's how I know I'm at top that's in it right now. Cylinder number one, these are the two valves. Here you have the intake, here you have the exhaust. Intake is always offset. Both these valves are closed right now and they're they're all the way in their up position so the valves are closed upwards see this one's down no, it might be hard for you to tell okay so that's one way to tell but that's not it you got to do other stuff now when you're at top dead center the cam dowel will be at the three o'clock position and you again you have the mark on the cam gear down at six o'clock position so you look for the two damn i'm getting sand in there that doesn't matter you make sure these two valves are in the up position make sure the cam dowel is at the three o'clock position make sure that mark is at the six o'clock position but how do we know where the hell this is okay i took uh, where the hell is it? All right, hold on. Okay, I took the small extension, cleaned it off, used my air gun, it's not sharp, it's not gonna do any damage, and I put it into the spark plug hole, number one cylinder, and I gently turned the engine over. See that I'm touching the top of the piston. So I know the piston is up, fully up. That's another way, so you gotta do one, Two, three, use this for four, and then five is the keyway indicator. The keyway when the crankshaft is at top dead center is always at the 130 position. So I know. That, that is at 130. Therefore, I know the crank, the center line, would be right here. So the 12 o'clock position. And that 12 o'clock meets up with the 6 o'clock over there. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a blue Sharpie and I will mark it right here straight across to line up with that dot the best I can. Then I'll remove the head. Now when I remove the head, even if my blue line over here is gonna be off an eighth or a sixteenth, it doesn't matter. Because then I could put a ratchet here and I could turn the engine because I'll be able to see the piston and I'll be able to tell when the piston is at its absolute most top dead center. You know, this is all eyeballing it. Or I could get one of those magnetic, uh, dial indicators and check it that way too. We'll see. Maybe I'll do that. But then if I'm off just a little, I could also wipe off the blue mark 
the blue line, and then center it. So I'm going to check one, two, three, four, that the piston is at the top, five, all while leaving that oil pump on and not being able to see the mark on the crankshaft gear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. My one-off custom homemade top dead center timer mark on the crank snout based on my theory. Let's see if it works. I lined it up the best I could. It's hard to tell. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, if there was any questions as if I uh, wasn't on top dead center, check that out. That's top dead center. That piston is right... I'm going to say just a hair. Just a hair over the... Uh, deck surface here just a hair over so my homemade timing mark works so I just put some uh, rags since the oil pan is open and exposed I just put some rags over so any debris doesn't sand doesn't fall into the uh, oil pan so if there's any questions about my homemade timing mark we can squash them now <laughs>